2019. Now, Connecticut is hosting its 20th annual Angelman Syndrome Foundation Walk. It's happening Saturday in Cheshire. Uh, I'm going to guess two things here. First of all, I'm guessing you've probably never heard of Angelman Syndrome, but once you do and once you find out more about it, I'm also guessing you won't forget it because it is unique for a number of reasons. Uh, joining me now to talk about it, I'm happy to have researcher Dr. Stormy Chamberlain along with Jim Kubica, who's on the board of directors for the Angelman Syndrome Foundation. He, along with his wife, are uh, the walk coordinators for the Connecticut Walk, so he'll be there on Saturday along with his son, Cole, who has Angelman Syndrome. Uh, a pleasure to meet you both. Uh, glad to have you. Thanks for having uh, us. Dr. Chamberlain, yeah, I did a story many, many years ago on Angelman Syndrome and uh, didn't get to meet you at the time. I got to talk to one of your uh, co-researchers, Dr. Mark Lalonde, but please tell us uh, just what Angelman syndrome is, why it's so unforgettable. Yeah, so Angelman syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids um, miss some early milestones, which prompts being seen by a doctor, but ultimately they go on to have uh, developmental delays, intellectual disabilities, uh, oftentimes seizures, uh, they have difficulties walking. Um, you know, the stuff that normal kids do, they struggle with, um, and yeah. so it's really a tough disease. But it's one of many neurodevelopmental disorders, um, and this one's caused by the loss of one specific gene. Okay. So it's kind of a nice disorder because we have a, a handle on it in terms of trying to understand how it works and maybe mm -hmm. how to fix it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the people who suffer from Angelman syndrome are, yeah, are, are disabled, but there, there's a, and, and I don't want to focus too, too much on this, especially Jim, there's a, a specific uh, quality that they have. They're always very happy. They're almost like little little angels, too. Yeah. Uh, t tell me about Cole. Sure, so very happy demeanor, absolutely. So he's always happy. Yes. Uh, it's a, it's a definitely a positive thing, but sometimes a, a not so positive because you don't, he doesn't know how to uh, you know, say that he's hurt or anything like that. Yeah. So it could always come off as, as uh, you know, not being seen the right way. But uh, yeah, so very happy. Um, always a pleasure to see. Always a smile on his face. Uh, but yeah, it's a very uh, uh, excitement. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of excitement. But they also have uh, seizures, you know, lack of yes. verbal speech, uh, difficulty walking, and then there's a bunch of, you know, other stuff, you know, uh, between uh, uh, eating and sleeping and whatnot. So a bunch of, a little bit of everything, I like to say. Yes. And I say that because it's still, a, a, I think, a relatively rare disorder. So mm -hmm. that's a good way to help make sure people remember it. And right. that's part of what, you're, uh, what you want to do on the walk. You also want to raise a, a fair amount of money, which you guys have been able to do. What mm -hmm. are you hoping to do with the money that's raised on yeah, so the Angelman Syndrome Foundation supports uh, family support. Uh, it supports clinics where mm -hmm. um, kids with Angelman Syndrome can be seen by experts. But importantly, it also supports research. Um, and so research into a cure, research into trying to find um, what, uh, how drugs uh, can improve the lives and what that might look like. Yeah. Um, and so uh, it supports a lot of research, and that's, that's the most important thing no. we do at the Angelman Syndrome Foundation. And I was going to say, with, with a lot of different diseases and syndromes, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done just to understand the mechanisms, how, but at least you have a, a fairly good idea right down on the chromosomal level of how it happens, right? Is that... Yeah, we know it's one gene. Um, we kind of know what the gene does. We There are even, um, the Angelman Syndrome Foundation has funded strategies to mm -hmm. turn that gene back on. There's a dormant copy and wow. we can turn it on. Um, and so now it's, it's pushing to the finish line to make sure we can do that um, for kids. Yes, uh, this could have wonderful applications. So if you would like to be a part, it looks like you're going to have a great crowd there. You said about maybe uh, two, 300 people, I Correct, think? Correct, yes. yes. Okay, so it's going to happen a Saturday. 9 a.m. is the registration, Cheshire High School. The walk begins at 10 a.m. Uh, these are great people doing great things, especially Dr. Chamberlain. It's, it's, I was saying it before, it's amazing. It's science fiction, uh, real life, and it's all a lot of that research happening right here in Connecticut. Thank you both for being here with me today. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Tim. Thank pleasure. you for taking Thank the time to come on. A pleasure to have you both. All right, still ahead here on the Fox 61 Morning News, back to the...